Hey, welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Row. So tonight we're going to be talking about a store haul. Well, multiple store hauls that I've done. Haven't gotten anything super special, but I got some good stuff that I'm pretty excited about. Before we get into it, if you end up enjoying the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Follow us on Instagram at The Whiskey Row. Support us on Patreon if you feel like doing that. Anyway, we're getting close to 4th of July, so I donned my... 4th of July shirt from last year, which is my American flag and fighting for freedom blended shirt. And tonight I'm actually drinking some Nulu Single Barrel from Fort Lauderdale Whiskey Society, uh, one of their picks that I got from Antho. Uh, it's helped me out, helped get me some stuff I can't get here in Virginia a couple times. It's only five years and three months, but it is solid. It's a very, very good pour. If you can get your hands on some Nulu, do so. So let's jump right into it. I have been hunting for Russell's Reserve 13 year for the last, really since Thursday. The first time I saw it hit the shelves in Virginia was this past Thursday. A friend of mine, Joe, down in Fredericksburg, told me that there was uh, a store down there. Uh, he was able to pick up a bottle, so congratulations, Joe. And he messaged me and said, hey, this truck's got it. It's going to be, you know, and we know the routes of the trucks pretty much. So I ran down there, and I got to the store that was next in line, Waited for about three hours for the Russell's Reserve 13. I did not get it that day, but I did wait for three hours. Met some uh, cool people. Had some had some fun down there. We we had it. We had a good time. So down there, I ended up grabbing uh, a Buffalo Trace, which is allocated in Virginia. It's harder to find. You can usually find it the day of the delivery, but it's gone after that. So I grabbed a bottle of Buffalo Trace, regular size 750 mil uh, Eagle Rare, which is always nice to have around a giant uh, 1.5 handle of Eagle Rare, which you can get in Virginia. Now in Virginia, they, they have a, a rule where you can only get one bottle of the allocated items per day per store. So, but that store counted these as two different items because they have two different SKUs. They're different sizes, so they're different items. So I was able to get both of those. Uh, Henry McKenna, 10 year bottled and bond. It's always good. Uh, can't go wrong with this one too. It's, uh, you know, I talked about this in one of my gifting videos. Uh, this is a great gift to give to somebody if you can get a hold of it at, uh, at retail. Chasing it up into the 70s, 80s, 90s, 100s, more. Not really worth it. But it is a good pour at, at $45, $50. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. This is the B521. Now, I already have the A121 that I picked up in California, Northern California, when I was on my Oregon trip. So I was looking for the B, and luckily I got the B. So now I have the A and the B for this year. And when the C comes out, or at least comes to Virginia, I will work to get that. Now, last year, the Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs, I only got the B and the C. I did not get the A last year. So this year, I have the A and the B, and hopefully I'll grab the C and be able to have the full uh, gamut of uh, Elijah Craig. Like I said, I missed out on the Russell's uh, Reserve 13 there. They just didn't have it. I was first in line, so if they would have had it, I would have would have knocked it out of the park. The last thing I did get, which some of you may be excited about, for me, it's you know something that I can get pretty easily. And it's just a 750 Blanton's. Uh, this one is going to, is going to be earmarked, and I'm going to put a little note on it and uh, sticky, a little post-it or something. This is going to be my giveaway. Uh, hint, hint for the uh, thousand subscribers on Instagram giveaway. We are almost to 900 on Instagram. Once we hit a thousand, this is going to be going up on Instagram for a thank you for everybody who is following us over there, uh, seeing what all my wife and I get up to. Again, a little let down that I couldn't get the Russell's 13. Man, that Russell's Reserve 13 is turning to be a beast. I'm I'm really, really want that. I love Wild Turkey. I love Wild Turkey 101. I love Rare Breed. I really, really like Rare Breed Rye. I like the Russell Single Barrel that I have. The Russell's 10 I have isn't so great. But again, the Russell's 13, I, I'm just, I think that's going to be a special bottle. I've heard positive things about it. So I'm really going to keep hunting that, or at least, you know, after this, I decided to keep hunting it. That haul was on Thursday. Uh, there wasn't anything near me on Friday to go after, Saturday nothing. On Monday they don't deliver near me, but on Tuesday they deliver to the town I'm in. It was a, it was a nightmare. So I, I, I'm, again, I'm dedicated to getting this Russell's Reserve 13. I really, really want this bottle. I was in front of the store by 8. Now this store is the first store in the truck line for the town that I'm in. It's, it's, uh, it's on the other side of town from me, but it's always the first. That's where I got my Michter's 10. That's where I got my Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof Rye. I've gotten a lot, a lot of good stuff from that store, but I have to get there early and I have to camp out. I suspected the truck was coming. I didn't know for sure or not. On my way to that store, I passed by two other Virginia ABC stores from my house to that store. 
the first store, which is my home store, it's the closest one to me, it, it had nobody in front of the store. The store, the middle store had about four people camped out in front of it. So I've, I, you know, nothing had been posted online yet. So this is all, they're getting inside info from the manager or employees or somebody, somebody spilling the beans. And so they were out front. So I went to the other store in a hurry, hoping that I would, you know, when I got there, that I'd be at least in the top three in case the, 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 they only had three Russells. When I got there, there was nobody there. The store was completely empty, no employees, nothing. And there was nobody there. Anyway, I got there at eight. I sat there from eight to nine. About nine, one of the employees came and went to go inside and start getting the store ready for opening at 10. Boy, I said, hey, are you guys getting your truck today? And she said, no, it got delayed till tomorrow. I was like, crap. So I'd already wasted an hour. So then I run back over to the middle store. And when I got there, nobody was in line. So I guess they got word that the truck wasn't coming either. So then at that point, I start looking online, trying to figure out where they might be dropping a Russell's 13. So about 45 minutes away from me, up toward out west of me, a town had gotten six in inventory. Now, I knew that there's no way that I'm going to get from where I was out there. It take me 45 minutes, only six bottles. There's no way that I'm going to get there in time to be in line for one of those six bottles. I know, though, that that line from that store, that town, the truck line from there heads to another town that a, they hadn't showed any inventory yet. And sometimes this little kind of the truck will veer off to this other store. So I start heading to this other store uh, that was kind of between me and the far town, hoping that one of those two would, would have something. And by the time I got to the middle store, uh, it, had, it was already close to 10. And at that point, I called the middle store as I drove past them because nobody was out front. I called them and they said, no, they're not getting a truck today. I said, okay, so, uh, okay, cool. So I kept going to the far town where I was really hopeful. And after that, I called them and they said, they're not getting any. Then I turned around, came back home. And I knew that my local store, the store closest to me, my home store, was getting a truck today. And, and I confirmed with the manager they were still getting a truck. So then I went to there. And by the time I got there, it was almost 1130. And the, she said the, the truck would be there about one. Hung out there, got in line, had some work to do, took care of that, but just kind of hung out around the store waiting for the truck. And, and she did not think she was getting a Russell's Reserve 13. And I was just hopeful that, you know, maybe I'd get lucky and 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 they would have put some on the truck. She just didn't know it was coming because that does happen sometimes. Uh, waiting in line for a long time. Actually met uh, two subscribers to the channel, uh, Matt and, and Jerry. Hello. It was, it was a pleasure meeting you guys in the store. Uh, that was really cool. Uh, I got four bottles of Buffalo Trace. Again, allocated in Virginia, not super rare. At my home store, the manager uh, will, she she does not count if, if there's two items and they have different SKUs if it's the same product. So, for example, the Big Eagle Rare and the Little Eagle Rare, those in her mind are the same product. So you can't get both. So I had to pick. So I picked the big one and uh, I ended up earmarking the first Eagle Rare I showed you uh, for one of the Patreons, uh, uh, he he can't get a hold of uh, of these giant eagle rares up in Pennsylvania, Eugene. So I uh, earmarked that for Eugene, and uh, I'm going to send that off to him and let uh, him get that uh, big old eagle rare up there. A, a, a George Remus. Now, I didn't know if this was going to be the George Remus or a Remus Repeal Reserve. I was hoping it was the Remus Repeal Reserve. It wasn't. It was a George Remus. Now, I've never had a George Remus, so I picked this one up. We will check it out. I will let you know what I think of it in upcoming videos. Did pick that up just because I'd never had it and got me another Blanton's. So now I've, I've restocked my Blanton's. The other one's going to the Instagram. This one, uh, I'm probably just going to hold for something for a giveaway in the future. Uh, got plenty to give away as the channel continues to grow and we have holidays and whatever. We'll, we'll do giveaways, I promise. It's going to happen. But that is my store haul from Tuesday. Now, in these haul videos, I talk about things I buy. I don't often talk about what I finish off or what bottles I kill. And so I just wanted to take a minute and pay my respects to uh, this delicious Knob Creek 12 year that is uh, the 100 proof version that I, I finished off recently, as well as the night, Old Forester 1910, which I finished. I actually posted a picture of me bottle killing this on Instagram, but nevertheless, it is dead now. Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel. That was my first one of these I finished off, and it is, the Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel is a fantastic, fantastic bottle of whiskey. So 
uh, definitely check that one out if you haven't. Anyway, these are my bottle kills from the last store haul. Now we're to the segment where I'm going to talk about bottles that uh, I traded or got sent to me. Normally I've done like straight store hauls and then I've done, it's getting too hard to keep track of stuff. So I'm just going to, you know, time box it and say, here's everything I bought or got uh, or received or traded for uh, since the last time. So here are my uh, trades or stuff. Let me show you. So this is Chattanooga Whiskey 111 proof bourbon. Now I didn't know I was getting this. Steven on Instagram reached out to me and said, hey, would you like a sample of Fourgate? And I said, yeah, that'd be great, man. Send me a sample. And, and so he sends me the sample and I open the box and I get the box and the box is like, it's big. You know, it's, he's supposed to send me like a two ounce sample. He sends, I get this big box. I open it up. I've got my, my, my Parker's or my, uh, my Fourgate sample. And this, Stephen, thank you. Uh, no need to send me free, but Stephen, that was incredibly generous. Thank you very much. Now, the last two bottles tonight uh, are actually uh, bottles that were picked up for me by a, a buddy of mine named Joe. He's actually a Patreon of the channel. And he was in Kentucky. He had gone through St. Louis to visit his daughter and, and, and son-in-law and, and grandkid out there. But on his way back, he ran by Justin's House of Bourbon in Kentucky, along with some distilleries and, and some other places. But at, uh, at Justin's, he uh, was able to get some store picks from them. And he, he messaged me and I was like, heck yeah, man, how much are they? And he, we worked it out. And so he picked them up, brought them back for me. And I actually uh, met him outside the store on Tuesday, when I did the Tuesday store haul, I actually met him that morning and he was there for that. So, uh, so Joe, thank you so much for, for picking these up for me. I got two store picks. So this is the new riff single barrel Justin's House of Bourbon store pick. I do have one new riff right now back here, but I'm actually pretty close to the bottom of it. So it was time for a refill. Now I have found out that I can get new riff in Maryland, which is, you know, really close to me. So uh, I shouldn't have a trouble getting newer in the future, but always, you know, getting a single barrel from, from a place like Justin's house. So bourbon is a great, uh, great option. So pretty cool. Pretty excited for that. And the other he was able to pick up for me is Justin's house of bourbon, single barrel select, uh, new Lou. Now I've talked about new Lou, non-chill filtered, toasted. This one coming in at 119.6 proof, five years and four months. Couldn't be happier with this. I have Nulu. It's actually what I'm drinking right now is my Florida Nulu. Now I've got a Kentucky Nulu. Anyway, that's my store haul. That's what I've been able to get. I have gotten some samples. We might talk about those in another video. But I want to thank everybody who's uh, helped me to, to grab bottles lately. Uh, it's been amazing to, to do some bottle swaps and grab a hold of some stuff. So thank you. And obviously, uh, it's still fun to get out, run to the store, stand in line, meet people. Uh, great experiences there. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. Follow us on Instagram at The Whiskey Row. And if you want to support us on Patreon, check me out at patreon.com slash whiskey row. And until next time, find a bottle you love.